Guys, so um, this is the uh, wrap up on my B350 testing. Now, I, I think this is going to apply to most B350 boards. The particular board I'm right using right now is the uh, what is it called? The Prime B350 Plus. Um, my opinion on this particular board, the four core is where it shines. You can crank it. You can use every single possible setting in the BIOS. Uh, you can change the switching frequency up to the max. You can run the voltage to the max. You can run the phase to the max. And it's just running and running and running. This thing has been going for two days now, nonstop. I have 100% confidence that it's going to be fine for 24-7 use for anybody after doing this. Um, one of the things I should note is Prime is easy to cheat, so I'm going to point out some things to you. See this right here? This bar is much bigger with the less work that it does. So Prime needs to do work to be considered legit. And as you can see, this thing has been doing nothing but work for the past two days. So, if you ever see someone with like a 24 hour screenshot and this bar is like all the way up to here, they're lying. Um, I care about my credibility, so obviously this is legit. It's very, very easy to cheat Prime though, so you should always keep that in mind. Um, this thing's been looping heaven for two days straight. I really have no complaints whatsoever on this board and I've actually lined up another test before I shut this off and we are going to compare this to an Intel system with considerably higher clocks same amount of RAM same test dual cards on water 4.5 gig running prime and running heaven I'm going to stop this demo on this one and run it in full screen just for safety of uh, comparison sake but I don't think it's going to make a difference the only reason I have to run the other system in full screen is because it's on crossfire this is a single card it doesn't lose crossfire it runs in a window fine but whatever we're gonna compare it apples to apples and we're gonna see who cares about frame rates because the video card really doesn't matter we're looking for smoothness in the in the video so we're gonna do that next i'm going to start them both from scratch obviously um like i said this board i mean i've been worst case scenario on this the whole time there are no fans on this thing let me turn the light on so you can see there are no fans on it whatsoever the vrm is completely passive cooled the memory is completely passive cooled. It's just ripping. And ripping and ripping and ripping. Four core, I give this board a thumbs up. I probably would look for another board for six and eight core chips. And one other thing I wanted to point out is that, uh, Hardware monitor is less reliable than I previously thought, and that was pretty not reliable. You can see right here, we have had a spike up to 3.150 volts. So, if we had a spike up to 3.150 volts, this chip probably would not be alive. And also, we apparently broke an overclocking record on my chip because we hit 5778 on air, which is uh, pretty impossible. I don't even know what my mouse is right now. So right there, 5778. Yeah, I don't think we hit that on air. So even with peaks on this board, I probably would not trust it. I would trust the averages. I mean, 5778, woohoo! It's like a record on a retail chip on, on a stock air cooler. Well, not a stock air cooler, but somewhat stock. This thing gonna focus in again. Ooh, focus. 
So yeah, um, 75.6 peak, it did not shut off. I see a lot of people complaining about temperatures and peak. I don't know what the shutoff is on this chip. This is the 75.6 peak, 72 average. I mean, I'm, I'm literally at the cooling limits of this chip. I reached the cooling limits of the chip before I could damage the board. I don't think um, the amperage, none of this stuff is accurate. This thing's like saying, at some point we pulled 175 amps on the SOC, we pulled 658 watts total, maybe with the video card running, 658 watts total, but CPU plus SOC power, not, not happening. 551 watts on just the SOC. I don't think so. Hardware monitor is bunk. Don't trust it. So, might trust the CPU temps, maybe, because they correlate with uh, Ryzen Master, but that's about it. So anyway, I'm gonna screenshot this, and uh, then I'm gonna go on to the Intel versus AMD comparison. It's going to get interesting. So let me wrap this video up and uh, we'll move on to the comparison and then we're going to move on to the BioStar.